Hello web developers, this is PG Web Dev, and today we have another lead code challenge in PHP. This time is a medium challenge and it is about adding two numbers, but the numbers are represented as reversed linked lists and we need to add those numbers and return in reversed order as well so for example here we have two four three so the actual number is three four two and we have another linked list five six four the actual number is six is four six five so when we add this number uh, we have eight zero seven but we need to return seven oh eight in reverse order the same as we have the initial linked list as we see in this example here so if you don't know what linked lists are because that's not very uh, often you can come across uh, this uh, data structure and this is basically a list of elements linked to each other so like in this example one is linked is the first element and it is linked to two and it is linked to three and this links to four and five etc and the list goes on so this is not like a typical array where you have one two three four five and each element has like an index from zero to four this is not an array so this is basically like the first element has a value and also has another element in it yeah so we need to access first value first and then we can read the value but then also within this element we have another element two yeah which this element also has a value and also has another element that's why this is called linked list so going back to our lead code uh, challenge so here we have a class that is representing uh, a node one node list node of uh, our linked list so as i told you before uh, a node um, consists of value and the next element in the node so to solve this problem what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna create two arrays for these two linked lists so i will convert this linked list value into arrays and now i'm gonna loop through i'm gonna loop through each of the linked lists and create arrays of values of this linked list in order to do this I also need to count the number of elements of uh, this uh, linked list and to do that I need to uh, create another function to count the number of elements uh, in this linked list because in this example we have three but we can have other examples as you can see and the elements can be different for each linked list so this can't be fixed this has to be calculated and because this is not an array if it if it was an array i could just do count and then this is our link list this will return us a number of elements in this array but because this is not an array we need a separate function to loop through every single element and uh, count it okay so i created this method to calculate the number of elements in linked list so the input is the list and then we start counting from zero so here we have a while loop and as long as we have a value in the linked list element then we counting we increasing the we're increasing the number by one so initially when we get the linked list uh, we're checking if there is first value yes so we're increasing the number and then l becomes the next element of linked list as long as it 
has a value so the last element uh, of the of the linked list third uh, in this example will not have a value that's uh, therefore the length for these uh, two examples will be three and now we can start converting this uh, linked list into arrays so here I'm counting the uh, number of elements in the list so I can iterate uh, for each value so here we have similar situation so item one is like current element of the of uh, of the list so if it doesn't exist we just assign the first element of the list which is this one but if it exists we just assign uh, to the current element the next element of the current item and then we just uh, push to this array number one the value of the current linked list element and for the second list the uh, loop will be very similar so we just pretty much copy over and change uh, the name of few variables so now we should have both arrays of numbers so what we need to do now is reverse this array because as you remember these uh, linked lists are reversed numbers and we're looking for a sum of these reverse numbers so we need to calculate the sum of these uh, of these arrays okay so this is how we're gonna calculate the sum of these two elements by joining this array and adding a, a sum and the last thing we need to do we need to just uh, create a linked list from that sum and return uh, again as a reversed linked list so let's do this now actually one thing that we also need to do is uh, to reverse this sum because this is not reverse sum uh, so this is this and we're looking for reverse uh, version of this sum so let's just reverse it so we're going to use two php functions here array reverse which is going to reverse our array but to make the sum number into an array we can use string split which splits uh, each uh, number uh, into an array so for example 807 will become an array of three elements 807 and now we can uh, just loop through this reversed array we can just count it because this is like a normal array this is not a linked list this is an array we're making a linked list from this reversed array okay so here some list which is gonna be our linked list if it's not exist which is the first loop then we will just create this okay we have a class list node we will cre create a node from first element of this array uh, which is going to be seven and then the next element it's going to be null because we will assign the next element in the next iteration so for the first one we just create first node We will also create a variable like a current now so what is our current now in the loop we will need this for assigning next uh, elements in, in in the linked list right so let's go through this again because this is where it gets quite complicated and if you don't have experience with linked list this will certainly be confusing and you just need to practice a little bit just to understand how this uh, list work because they can be confusing at 
first so let's look at it again so going through this loop some list is gonna be a linked list array that will return uh, as a output of this um, of this function so first loop it doesn't exist so we'll just create the first node with the value of the first element of the array and the next value is going to become null because we don't know what the next value is at this point we'll be assigning the next value in the next iteration so in order to have this node in the next iteration we create this current node uh, variable which will keep our sum list from the first iteration in the second iteration so in the second iteration to the next element of the first node we'll assign another node which is now the second value again with the next uh, element being null and the current node become that element that we've just created so within the next loop for the third element it will just repeat again these two lines and we'll keep assigning the next element uh, to the next element in the array and now at the end we just need to return the sum list okay i think it looks good so let's open the console and then let's try to run this code and see if this example works okay we have a small error here so okay this needs to be let's run it again okay so let's take a look because it just gives us an output almost correct mm, but there's probably some kind of mistake yeah okay and a mistake is that you know we need to count it just to from zero to age uh, less than count of the elements in the sum array so let's run it again okay so that looks good for the first example now let's try for all test cases now okay that also looks good all of these examples passed all these three examples passed uh, this uh, function now let's try to submit this okay and we have a wrong answer okay so this is because the sum is more than a thousand now so we have three elements but the sum is actually four digit not three digits la as an initial linked list array so let's take a look what's wrong with the code uh, and how we can fix this issue okay so as you can see i have made quite a few more attempts on this uh, uh, to, in order to solve this, this uh, problem and i found it and i think it's, this is going to be a good uh, lesson for you everything was caused by the zero in one of the linked lists and if you remember before we had if not item one uh, but that also meant zero but the intention was for it not to be set so i've changed it in everywhere i have instead of just not uh, to not is set uh, that means if it's zero Mm, this is not true and if it if it is just uh, exclamation mark if it's not then if it's zero it is true so this is the change I've made for the example for this example where it was causing a problem if I run the code now then the solution is accepted I was basically trying to debug the issue by submitting it but a better option is just to copy the input with the wrong result and then paste it in console here test case uh, copy and paste it here and then 
um, when you run the code it just tests this particular example but when you submit it it tests a lot of others so uh, it, it's a little bit wasted time i think it is solved now by changing this from not to not is set uh, it everywhere i'm using it then i'll try to submit it again okay uh, and we have another issue okay so i finally submitted this uh, problem and it was accepted uh, it took me quite a few attempts to do it and i will explain now what i've changed for example one of the problems uh, before when uh, i was calculating the sum of these two arrays was that the numbers were too big for php to handle they had uh, like 14 digits and that's uh, too much for php to handle so i couldn't calculate it, calculate the sum by just adding the numbers so the way i've uh, changed it now is just looping through the array and adding the numbers individually so i no longer need to add these uh, two numbers and no longer need to reverse them to add them so the way i'm calculating this now i'm finding the longest array and i'm looping for the how many times the longest array is and then adding individual elements of the array the only problem is if uh, the sum is greater than 10 then we need to move the fraction to another uh, element and then at the end if uh, we have remaining fraction of one added to the end so it's a little bit convoluted uh, way i would say uh, but you know it is uh, successful but the only way we could actually uh, get to that conclusion is by uh, running through different problems and debugging uh, debugging the different scenarios and different inputs for example as long as uh, this one so that is it for add two numbers for linked lists uh, i hope that this was useful for you and you've learned a little bit about linked lists and solving problems and debugging let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas how this uh, problem could be solved. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and see you again soon. Bye bye.